Have a wonderful Wednesday morning. Uh, if you haven't if you haven't checked out my uh, Flagstaff video, I did. Uh, I visited about three uh, different coffee shops in Flagstaff this week. So let's see. I start with the Macy's, Matador Coffee Shop, and yesterday I went for a place called uh, Lay for Train as well. So if you haven't checked out, make sure to check out those videos. And this morning I'm going to uh, make. You know what? So. So far, I've been to three uh, coffee shops and, you know, I interact with the three, uh, uh, three real baristas out there. And then, so hopefully, I'm going to try to mimic their, you know, their technique. Uh, try that this morning, okay? It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, let's, I'm going to shout out to my friends at UK. I know you guys are pre-locked down. Uh, locked down right now, I believe. So make sure to be careful out there and, you know, stay safe. Okay, so I'm going to start with... Uh, so this morning I'm going to be doing, let's do latte, okay? I think a latte is more like my go-to drink this morning. So, I mean go-to drink lately. So this is a mothership uh, coffee from Las Vegas. Let's do that. Anyway, I hope you guys are ready for Christmas, if you guys are celebrating. All right, I'm just going to warm up my shot, uh, cup here. Uh, by the way, the climbing light is blinking for a while, so when I get back to Tucson, I have to address that right away. So, all right. So, let's see, what's the temperature outside? Uh, it's, it's about what, 20 degrees outside in Flagstaff? Pretty chilly, okay? Pretty cold. Let's see here. Hopefully we can make better latte than uh, the barista, okay? Let's try that. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the last bit of coffee. Okay. There we go. The smell's really good, okay? Nothing like freshly roast coffee. By the way, uh, I went to three coffee shops the fact is, nobody using distribution tool for some reason. And then plus, they're using their temper, that temp to the side, okay? I don't know why they're doing that because, I mean, whenever you uh, tap the side of your uh, pore filter, you're having to you know, disturb the puck, so I'm not sure. I mean, if you guys know the answers, please let me know in the comment as well. So this morning, I'm just going to uh, do the standard shot. So here's what I'm going to do at, uh, here's what I'm going to do as well. So right after the shot, I'm going to steam the milk. And then I know one of my viewers asked me, can you wait or wait, the, uh, wait uh, the milk jug before and after? Because he wants to know uh, how much water added to the milk. So uh, we're going to find out for you. Okay, so on that scale there, hope you guys can see it. Let me change the angle. All right, there we go. So right now, this milk jug here, okay, I'm going to zero it out, okay? So I'm going to zero out the milk jug here, so I'm going to find out how much uh, the water is added, okay? So let's pull the shot. And I'm going to start time when I ice the first drop. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the manual mode, by the way. I'm going to hold down until I'm going to see the first drop of espresso and then just let it go. So I'm looking for around like 35 gram or so, 35, 36 gram. Okay, so I'm at uh, 17, about 18 seconds. Okay, 18 seconds in and I got 40 gram out. So, so here we go. Just gonna tear my scale for the milk. So 
So I'm going to start steaming it when uh, I hear the pump kicked in. Seems right now. I'm going to shut it up for a sec. And I'm going to introduce air about what five to ten seconds. Because I like to have you know very silky and kind of like wet paint like. That's what I'm going for right now. Uh, by the way, I'm using a whole milk this morning. Okay. I mean, you just have to wait. I mean, if you just got this motion for Christmas or holidays, my suggestion for you is just get a big bag of coffee beans. Uh, start, you know, practicing dialed in. It's almost there. Okay. Because some reason most coffee shop in Flagstaff, I mean they steam the milk like up to like 160 degree. I don't get that. I mean I prefer between 135 and 145. Okay. So milk is done. Okay, so now I'm going to weight this. So let's find out how much. Okay, here's a problem. Okay, we have to do this one again because... So that was 490 gram. Okay, before. Uh, and now, unfortunately, you know, hold on a second. You know, we're going to do the uh, manual math, okay? So before we're at 190, okay, 190. Hold on. And then, hold on a second here, because I really like to do that for my viewer. Okay. So 190, and now I'm at uh, 517. So 190 minus 517 is, somebody do the quick math for me. Okay, here we go. But meantime, we, we're going to do some latte art. The key to a uh, good latte art is go slow. Here we go. So here is the more like really nice latte here. So 190, so we are looking at 27 gram of water just added to uh, a milk jug there. So, so what five what 490 and we got 517 so 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 that's the difference so uh 490 was the initial uh, milk and then the after that is a 517 so about they added about 27 grams of water okay so here's a uh, latte for you know let's try this so i mean again the milk texture is really nice I'm just perfect. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. I mean, it's fantastic. But uh, let me know in the comment, guys. Do you guys prefer put any kind of syrup in it, or you guys are like purist? Purist means you know just a um, uh, coffee and milk. But personally, I really like to add caramel. That's one of my favorite drink. And then uh, I'm. And I'm, I'm trying to working on, I know, is that Linda ask us about the hazelnut? I'm going to shout out to Linda. I know she wants to come up with a recipe. I'm still waiting for that uh, hazelnut uh, extract from Amazon. I just got to notify that they lost the package. So here we go. Here's ca uh, caramel. You know what? This is really good. Okay. So, I mean... Here's the truth about uh, going to coffee shop versus making it home. Obviously, making it home is going to be a lot cheaper. And, and also, you have a lot more control over your shot quality. 
you, so pretty much you have total control. You have become home barista. And if you go to uh, coffee shops right now, and it's all depend on the who's behind the uh, coffee machine. So, you know, some baristas, I mean, they really cares about their, you know, their, uh, uh, their skills. I mean, they're passionate about coffee. And there's some baristas out there, that some are new to the uh, coffee industry, they're trying to make coffee. So it's all depend on the, uh, you know, who do you get, okay? And uh, the latte yesterday, that cost me $5.49, so $5.49, so with that tip. So if I'm gonna tip them, so you're looking around six bucks. I mean, this cup I just made, cost less than maybe dollar or so, not even. So it's very inexpensive. I mean, only thing you have to buy is the, just the milk and coffee beans. And obviously you have to, you know, spend money on your Brista Express, you know, whatever express machine you have. But so this, again, I mean, you are going to make a lot better personally, okay? I mean, it's, it's all subjective, but personally you're gonna, you, are going to, you are going to make a lot better coffee at home with a decent machine than uh, getting from, I mean, local coffee shop for sure, okay? If you wanna save some money. But if you wanna uh, try to support your local economy, you know, that's not a bad idea either, so going to coffee shop. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, any questions, by the way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a viewer from Pakistan wonders what the model number of the Brista is. So this one is the Brista A70XL, okay? XL. So they have two, two numbers, uh, A70, uh, A70 and the A70 XL. So some model does not have clean uh, slash uh, this scale and the, uh, because they're older model, which means you have to do descaling manually. It, it doesn't remind you. And the, for this one, you happen to be, you know, clean and descale. So light is blinking, so I have to descale. And I'm sorry, no, I have to clean me cycle when I get home. All right. So uh, I don't understand how to descale my infuser machine. Okay, so with the D, with the D, uh, descale on infuser, same process. You just add the solution, okay, and then just go through manual mode. Just hold down your single or double cut button. Just hold down, just get the water, okay, for like 30 seconds or so and stop. And then do the steam one, 30 seconds, and do the, uh, uh, your hot water spout as well. So do three different ways, about you know, two, three, uh, maybe twice or three times the cycle, okay? And then maybe water, so start with uh, water is almost empty, and then uh, refill that with the clean water and flush that again. So, I mean, very, you, uh, if you haven't uh, tried it yet, make sure to check out my video, okay? I have uh, plenty of videos on how to descale. Check it out. All right, what else? Um, what is the model number of your Barista Express? Secondly, what is the difference between VES 870 and VES 875UK? You know what? I'm not sure about the UK model with the Barista Express. And, and yeah, my answer is I don't know, okay? I don't know about that one. But I mean, they are the same machine. But for some reason, the European model, the shuts up like after like 15 to 30 minutes. So my machine shuts up after like an hour or so. So I guess it all depends on the uh, regulation on EU uh, standard. Ms. Wolfie asks, what other hobbies than coffee do you have? Do you play chess, golf? Or Someone you? asked me, the Ice Wolfie uh, asked me what kind of hobby do I have? I mean, coffee is my hobby. What else? Pretty much it. I used to ride my motorcycle for a long time, and then I have to get rid of it. But yes, like and and the camping and hi especially hiking. Actually, making coffee in outdoor is really fun. Okay, so I've been doing that a lot. I've been doing hiking and making coffee, uh, you know, during, during the hike. So that's really enjoyable. Okay, someone uh, mentioned about the, the Arco grinder on Kickstarter. So, uh, 
so I did actually I did look into that as well. The price is really good though. Okay, so I love the concept of it. The concept is this Arco grinder. The kind of like two in one. So you got the manual grinder and the machine grinder at the same time. So you can actually take this grinder, you know, everywhere. So I mean, I really like the concept of it, but. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna wait and see. Okay, it's just kind of like uh, the fellow uh, OD uh, grinder as well. Those, you know, uh, the brew grinder too. So I'm looking into that as well. But okay, look like I'm live here. Okay. Okay. So look like so. So we are in the this. We are in Flagstaff. Okay. The internet connection is not the best, and so the only option we have in this place is the, the DSL, so very spotty. And they just make sure skip that section, okay, if you are watching it. All right, what else? Um, when you do the manual mode, the first drop is roughly around 10 seconds. Some people think it's too long. Do you think it matters compared to pre-infusing for five seconds? Okay, someone asked me about the pre-infusion time. You know what, I'll play with uh, three-second infusion or five-second infusion because it does matter in the taste. Uh, so because I don't know when do you start the time because I know most of you out there start the time when you press the button and then so my last shot I start the time when I saw the first drop so it's all dependent on the your taste and you know whatever you want to do okay so if you want to start time something make sure be consistent so if you de decide to start time when you saw the first drop uh, dialed in the grinder setting based on that and that taste so you know, so so you are going to have always you are going to have consistent uh, shot, uh, consistent taste. So make sure if you don't do one or the other. So you had asked earlier who, if anybody uses syrup or not. Um, two people say straight up no sweetener. We have lots of syrups. Yep. So I mean, so most of you bought this machine because I mean I know you guys once I'm just like I did because I was tired of paying. A lot of money at the coffee shop, you know, because I really like the milk base with the syrup, you know. And so it's every time I, you know, it's about five to six dollars, you know, I've spent. So I that's the decide to buy the machine. So I know most of you out there and buying for latte drinks anyway. So this is a fantastic machine for that. But if you like espresso, okay, just the espresso, no milk based drink. Make sure to check out the Rancholio Servia or Gaza Classic Pro. I mean, I do have... Okay, so welcome back. It look like I'm back again. Okay, so that, what, say, say that again? How do, you increase How do you increase? Without choking the extraction and keeping the same amount of coffee grounds. Wow, that is a great question. How do you, I mean, from Don. So uh, Don asked me about increase the brewing time. Uh, only thing you gotta do is you just have to use manual mode for that one, okay? Because do not use the standard mode because you will get time out for that. So use the manual mode, and so comes to choking out, which means grinder is too fine, and just uh, make your grinder a little coarser or lower your dosing amount. So try one or the other. Don't do it at the same time. Okay. So you, whenever you change the variation, you're gonna change one at a time, which means change your grinder setting first, and if it doesn't work. And then try the dosing amounts, but yeah, do not change multiple variation. Which syrup do you use? Someone asked me which. Uh, someone asked me which syrup. I use the Tarani. The it's called Pure Mate syrup. So at some point I'm gonna make uh, my syrup at home, uh, uh, homemade. But I mean, this is not bad. This is use the pure cane sugar. So. You're what? You're okay, so. You know what? We have some technical difficulty this morning. I'm just gonna uh, call it a day right now, but uh, I'm gonna be back, hope, uh, tomorrow morning. Linda has a From Linda. Um, if I don't want such a strong shot, do I add less grounds or 
grams correct or should I look for a lighter roast? Okay, so Linda asked me, I don't want to, I don't like strong or shot. Strong, the, I, I don't know, oh, strong or shot means because you are using the ratio, okay? So whenever you're using like darker roast, you, you are going to have really strong coffee flavor, which means, uh, Linda, tell me, is your coffee taste bitter or <clears throat> what do you mean by strong? Because that, that's the key. Because if you have bitter taste, which means you are over extracted. So you need to adjust your uh, grinder size. So it give you more balanced taste. So. So that's, have you heard from Linda? No, okay. Yeah, so just make sure, make sure or look for that profile, bitter or sour, and then uh, go from there. You are going to make some adjustment. Not bitter, just looking for not so much coffee. Okay, so if you're not looking for so much coffee, Linda, I mean, uh, let's see, try lighter roast, okay? Medium to light. I think you're gonna have a med, uh, much better results. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so I mean with my technical difficulty this morning and then hopefully we're gonna be back uh, Tomorrow morning with a better internet connection here, but uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning And make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. That's a lot of fun. I mean I uh, post a lot of you know fun videos on my Instagram page so and it might be interesting All right, and uh, I'm planning on doing visiting one more coffee shop in Flagstaff I don't know which one, but someone told me that, you know, they have a, this great coffee shop has no sign on it. So I'm hopefully find that coffee shop sometime next few days. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys tomorrow morning.